Hello, Coral Arts, and welcome to part two of Engineer a Space Station. And in the last episode, to recap, we built this station core. I showed you how to build a simple station core, how to build a rocket to get it up, how to save that rocket in sub assemblies so you don't have to keep on building the same rocket to get a map into orbit. And now we have to do the challenge of rendezvous and docking. Not just once in this episode, but twice. And what are we planning on doing is showing you how to run to and dock the old fashioned way, what you can do in the stock game, and then show you a handy tool which you can use in the game to get that perfect docking. Okay, so let's get to it. As you may have just seen in the video, I lined the large docking ports with north and the south. This will make it easier for docking. But now let's go and get building. Okay, so now here we are in the VAB. Let's get building. Okay, the first thing I want to do is merely build a science lab. I will use the mobile press processing lab. And what I want to do is put a large docking port on top. And a small docking port on the bottom. So we'll need the adapter in structural. Okay, so now for the small docking port. And that basically is the module we're going to set up there. Very simple. Where it's a science lab, it's going to do a lot for us. Okay, let's raise it up so we have room for our rocket. Now, I don't know if you watched the last episode. If you haven't, go and watch it because it shows you how to do sub assemblies, how to use it. It's very simple. You can easily go and see a wiki about it, or it might be a tutorial itself on it. Okay, so that's sorted out. There's just one little thing we have to do. Let's sort out the RCS. Now, we're going to have to dock this, so we're going to have to balance the RCS. And in the tutorial where we built the, um, the core station, core of the station, we had center of mass. And we centered the RCS on that. But if you look at the center mass here, it's not centered to the RCS thrusters. So the simple thing to do is you can find the RCS thrusters. Come on, I yeah, command control. Right, symmetry to four as usual. And what I'm gonna do is set the RCS thrusters equal distance from the center mass. You see by here it's not equal. But there's a good reason for that. If we reduce the fuel in the fuel tank, say if we get in an orbit, it'll change and the center mass will equalize. Okay, so that is sorted. All we really need to do is reattach the ascent stage. And obviously we have to name this module. I think science module will do. It doesn't matter in the name for this because once you connect to the space station, you can rename the space station because you want a different name for it, don't you? Otherwise, they'll all be the same. One last check, make sure all your staging is correct. Because I've had some things, I'm not sure if it's in this version of the game, but in the older games, staging used to get messed up. Okay, everything seems in order. Let's go to the launch pad. Okay, so here we are on the launch pad, and before we go launching, we have to plan our flight path. Yes, very essential, no matter what you do, especially in rendezvous and transferring to a planet. Okay, I've just talked the space station, and what we want to do is get into lower orbit, so we'll be traveling faster than the space station, and we catch it up. But first off, we want to get the space station to just travel overhead over the launch pad. So a bit of fast forward of time. Now in hindsight, I pre-recorded this video by the way, in hindsight I suggest you let that space station travel a bit further over, a bit further in the orbit, so you get more time to do your manoeuvre notes, because fiddling with manoeuvre notes can take quite a bit of time. Anyway, let's get launching. And no, I'm not going to take you through the entire launch, you should know how to get into orbit now. If not, there is a tutorial for it. Anyway, let's get into orbit. So a quick jump, jump scene. 
and smashing our rear rocket to smithereens as we complete our orbit burn. Okay, it's not a perfectly circular orbit, but we're under the orbit of the space station. That means we're traveling faster than the space station and catching up. Okay, now let's create a maneuver node. And let's go and prograde. And what you want to do is do this until you get an intercept marker. And what that basically shows you is the closest approach that you're getting out your orbit. Now it'll give you two normally, first intercept and second intercept, but no more I don't think. Okay, so what I want to do now is fiddle with the maneuver node. You can do several things. You can move the maneuver node around like we just did. You can use the prograde and retrograde to increase and decrease your orbit to try and get a closer approach. You can also use the radial, just in case you're not in the same orbit plane. Now, as you can see, we've got 5.9 kilometers. We're not far off our five kilometer. And adjusting the radial, No, it's not good. Normally you have to adjust the radial on the ascending and descending nodes, but we're too, we have to burn now. Basically, as you see, we're about five seconds from the burn. Let's move it over a bit, try and get closer. 5.7 kilometers, that's good enough. So playing with the maneuver node can be the trickiest part of the game. It takes a bit of practice and it does give you handy markers, but it's easy enough when you get used to it. Okay, let's kill this maneuver node, see what we got. Okay, let's rest a bit. Get as close as possible. 5.6, can we get closer? No. We're gonna stick at 5.8. That's fine. If you can get under 5, that's brilliant. Anyway, let's warp a bit further into the intercept. Okay, let's see, we're 5.6 kilometers away. And now you can see the nav ball has changed to target. And you've got a prograde and retrograde marker on the nav ball. That's showing your velocity in relation to the target. And you want to get that down to zero before you pass it. Because you're in a total different orbit as the target at the moment. And if you don't change your orbit now, you will lose sight of the station. And it may be ages before you can get back to it. So burn retrograde until your target speed is whoop, zero or, oh well, we overburned by that. Never mind, that's easily corrected. You can use the RCS thrusters to do so. But it does waste RCS, especially if you're not used to docking. You may want to just use your RCS for docking. Okay, now that we've slowed our speed, use the purple markers on the nav pull. And you see the prograde marker here, you want to get that over the purple marker so you're heading in the, in the direction of the space station. Now on the nav ball, whichever place you point in and you thrust, pulls the prograde vector marker towards it. So if you do this, put it on one other side of the purple marker, you'll pull it across. And once you've done that, you can now point directly at the station and then burn towards it. Don't burn any faster than 50 meters per second. You can check the map then for intersects or 0.4 kilometers. That's pretty close. So a bit of time acceleration, closest approaching. And make sure you're pointing at your retrograde. Very important because then you can quickly burn and slow down your speed in relation to your station because the point of this is get close, create a hold-in pattern, which means you're going at zero speed in relation to the station. Okay, now we're in a hold-in pattern of, so like 800 meters. This is how the International Space Station does this. And then repeat the process, burn closer. I have to note though that the space station rendezvous I think does it slightly differently after they get up to the same orbit. They use ray not radial normal and anti-normal vector, I think. Is that correct? Not sure. But anyway, they use anti-normal normal and anti-normal to 
raise and lower their orbit without having to change their velocity of their orbit. So they stay in the same relative orbit. Just changing their height. Okay, now we're coming in close. This is the time that you want to make sure your rocket is not pointing at the space station, otherwise you'll either blow it up due to the heat, or you'll blow it out of control. Anyway, this is good, this is a good holding pattern, around 55 meters. And now it's time for the RCS and docking. Okay, first things first, let's set your docking port, a control from here. That orientates everything on Navpole around that docking port. And then you want to choose your docking port on the station, set as target. So then the Navpole shows that as your target. This is essential because it makes it easier to line up using the Navpole. Okay, so we set that top docking port there. And what we have to do is get above the station. And this is the point where you may want to rotate the craft so that when you're rotating your spacecraft, when you're turning your spacecraft, sorry, that you, it's easier to control because this is more done by eye than using an apple. Okay, so let's, yeah, as you see here, I've done the same here, rotate it so the top is showing that way and I could use the camera for a bit of control. Okay, let's thrust forward. So we get over the top of the station. Just use RCS thrusters, don't use the main rocket. You may find you go a bit too fast if you use the main rocket. Okay, but keep an eye on that control, um, your speed, sorry. Keep an eye on your speed because you don't want to overdo it. Right. Now let's point at the docking board. Okay, first off, let's show you the controls. In the bottom right, left, you've got the docking controls. That changes the WASD keys to left, right, up, down controls. And the shift and control keys are still, are then your thrust forward and thrust backwards. But I prefer to use the I, J, K and L keys. Because what that means is you've got the WASD keys to turn your rocket around. And then you've got the I, J, K and L keys to translate your rocket, which is left, right, up, down, back and forth. Okay, so we're quite close, we're too close in fact. But what I'm doing here is translating the rocket. And you see that in the navel, it's showing the prograde vector, and I'm positioning that just above the station, or as we've targeted the docking port, just above the docking port. So we come above it, then we should be able to rotate, and then we can position ourselves for docking. Okay, now let's slow down our speed. Let's orientate now the rocket to point in the general direction of the docking board. You're going to have to do this by eye at the moment. The mod in the next docking I will show you will show you a marker on there to show that you're aligned with the docking port. And that's why I love that next mod. Anyway, let's orientate it, make it look aesthetically pleasing. No, that it doesn't matter. Now what we have to do is try to get ourselves over the docking board. And you can do this by eye at the moment. But when we get a bit closer, we want to get that pro gray vector over the station. As you see in the Napple, I've just got it there. Now we're coming in for docking at an angle, and that's never a good sign. It may work. It probably will work. So use the RCS thrusters to reduce our forward momentum. So we're not going to hit the station at an angle. Okay, now this is the part where everything has to come in slowly. Don't rush this because you're going to panel into the space station. You don't want that. It'll take ages to dock. You can't. It's almost impossible to dock with something that's rotating. So you can see we're coming in slowly, coming in over the top. Take your time. I'm going to thrust forward. Okay, we're over. Now you see you've got the program vector over the docking port. 
And you see, I came at an angle, didn't work exactly as I intended. So, come back a bit, still traveling in a sideways direction, and then thrust forward when you're over the top. And we have docking, ladies and gentlemen, I have docked, used nothing but the stock controls. Anyway, that's done, all we have to do is decouple the rocket. Let's decouple, okay. Now use the bracket keys, the squarish ones, to switch between vessels. Point the rocket retrograde. And burn. Just make sure the rocket is not pointing at the space station. You don't buff it about. And let's get that. Let's get the no, periapsis down in the planet. And then switch to the space station. Let that probe plummet in. Burn up in the atmosphere. Okay. So, one thing. If you see our space station has the look of a capsule on the map. How we can change that? Just right click on the coupler module and we can see so you can rename the vessel. We've got a station marker up on it as well. And what are we gonna name the space station? No, it doesn't seem right. I think we should name it something else. Only takes me a moment, but Kerbal National Space Station. Still not that interesting, but it's a Kerbal National Space Station. Space Station. Anyway, let's go and build our next module. This time it's going to be a power module. I'm going to send up some solar arrays. So let's choose a docking clamp as the main part. And we want some struts, some girders. Not struts, girders. And let's put two of them on there. And what I'm going to place on there is the giant solar arrays. And these are brilliant. They'll make it look like a proper space station. It's probably about four on here. It's interesting to note as well. Some of those panels on the space station aren't just for solar power, but they're actual thermal panels which direct heat away from the space station. Control heat within it. Okay, here I was having problems with setting the RCS. So I decide I'll put the RCS in between the solar panels. Set symmetry to four, using the X key, and there you go. Okay, that's, I know it's not center mass isn't perfect, but we'll try to make it a bit better by placing the RCS on the bottom of the rocket. Okay, this is ready to get into space. So let's put the center stage there, lift it up so the rocket's not clipping the ground, and then it's off to the launch pad. And it's a nighttime launch. Same thing, set target, go into low orbit, and they set rendezvous. Most of this is the same as the last one. Set a target, rendezvous, get closer to approach from. Maneuver node, and a little bit of thrusting after the maneuver node to make sure you get that closest approach. Ooh, three kilometers, we'll keep that. And then rendezvous. Okay, we're a bit I was a bit too aggressive with this one. Once you get used to it, you can do so. But I thought I'll quickly get over the top of the space station and then we can dock. Or as quickly pass away from the station. Okay, RCS thrusters from now on. Right. Now do the same. Set your docking node, docking port to control from here. And the same with your space station. Set as target. And oh, the mod didn't appear. Oh, wait a minute. It should be in the toolbar. Yes. You may need to download the toolbar to come with this one, but. I'm not sure, you may be able to use it without it. Anyway, right, this alignment tool shows you three different, four different markers actually. The orange one is the orientation. So now we can orientate the rocket directly with the docking port. You can see there also we've got the prograde vector on there and we're coming in close, we're gonna hit it, so reverse thrusts. 
The green lines show your position with the docking port. And you can see we've got the retrograde marker there now. So you want all those three to point at the station. The other marker at the bottom right is your orientation marker. That's not essential for docking unless you're building a spacecraft which orientation is required. Okay, so we're almost lined up with it. All we have to do is align the docking port and I was finding difficulty here. It was as if I was expecting the controls to be exactly you know, push down and that would, the marker would come down. Push left, that marker would go right. But I seem to be in reverse. And there might be there must be settings in there, but I wasn't too bothered. I could get used to it easily enough. Okay, so now we're almost aligned. I think we can thrust forward. And oh, we're on our way. Okay, now it's all a matter of just keeping those aligned. You see the green lines are drifting out a bit, so... A bit of change. Just reduce our speed a bit. Oh, too much. Now, I didn't think of it at the time, but the green line getting out of line was probably because we're so close to it that a slight deviation would look quite big on the docking alignment tool. But always caution. So always slowly come in. Always the best bit. And also, I almost forgot. Press F5 when you're doing these rendezvous. At each stage, once you get into it, press F5 to quick save. Once you get your intercept, press F5. Once you're coming in for docking, press F5 before docking. And once you've docked, press F5. <laughs> Otherwise, if you have to quick load, you'll be have to redock again. Anyway, that's it done. We've docked with the space station. Now all it's a matter of is getting rid of that space junk. No, that space probe. Not the station. That's not junk, that's my space station. What do you think? <laughs> anyway, stage, stage again. Use the squared bracket keys to change. Again, easy enough. I'll use the computer this time to run to retrograde. And boom! Another spacecraft for the graveyard of burning up in the atmosphere. Okay. Go back to the station. I have to unfurl these solar panels. You can set action groups to unfurl them, but I've got to. So, by hand, it is easy enough. Just right click and extend panels. And once they're unfurled, we can zoom back and switch off the HUD to view our space station in all its glory. Well, in whatever glory we've got at the moment, we're going to be adding more to it, to it soon. Anyway, if you like this video, hit that like button below. And if you want more videos like this, why not think about subscribing? Because there'll be more coming. And if you want a certain tutorial, let me know in the comments below. Anyway, I'm Orbator. Thank you for watching. Trust me, I'm an engineer.